Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do a video and we're gonna do it on some wheels. So uh, we've got some wheels in, customer wants done, and they're going to be going in a desert digital camouflage. So uh, what we've got here is, is we have our SKO 128, which is our desert digital uh, camouflage here. We've got uh, some different color browns in here and things like that. So that's what we're gonna be uh, dipping this in. And then we've also got our rim that is pretty much prepped and ready to go. Uh, we've already base coated it brown, mainly because a couple of things. Number one, um, base coating it brown is not going to allow it to show as much um, uh, stretch. And uh, if it does stretch out, it'll still have a like base underneath it. So then that way it won't show up as bad as if it was like a white or something like that. So uh, we went ahead, uh, we've already talked to the customer about this. We went ahead and base coated this brown. So then that way it helps with the stretch as much as possible because this wheel is going to be a pretty hard dip. Um, this, with all the different uh, concave areas, all the different areas that are in the wheel, you've got this uh, area right here that's re that's raised up. You've got all these curves down into here. You've got this curve in here. You've got those right in here. And then of course, you've got all these spots right here, which thankfully, uh, these spots right here are just where some bolts are gonna go. But, all of this right here um, there's definitely going to be some little imperfections one way or another going into this wheel and so uh, we wanted to try to help minimize that as much as possible so then that way we um, go ahead and uh, and painted it in a beige color and then now we're pretty much ready to dip other thing was is that we've also taken and uh, we've blacked out the inside barrel of the rim um, customer just wanted it black so uh, very easy we've already painted painted it black and then we have taped everything up so then that way any of the dip right here it does not get onto the inside barrel of the wheel itself so uh, now that we've got that all kind of taken care of everything's base coated prepped ready to go now all we got to do is lay out our film here and then we can pretty much um, cut it to the size that we need and then go in and start dipping with it. So let's get started. All right, so we've got a little bit of excess over here. We're gonna move this wheel over just a little bit, give us a little bit of room over here, give us a little bit of room over here. And then so we're gonna cut this right down the middle, right down through here. And so that way now we've got that there. Now we are gonna leave ourselves a little bit of room on that extra up there. So I'm pretty much just going to lay that in probably uh, something like that. I might cut off a little bit of it. Um, either way though, this is pretty much ready to go into the water and um, get to start dipping. So. Uh, so on this one, it's gonna be a little bit different than what you've seen in the past where we've done videos. Um, so on this one, because of the way that the lip is and because of the way that all, all of everything is made on the wheels themselves. We're actually going to keep it at a gradual angle like this and just go straight into it all the way down into the water. So a little bit different than what you've seen in the past where we've started it this way, came in and then kicked it back like that. But um, I think that should be uh, a pretty good way in dipping these and then that way that'll give us the best coverage with the least amount of trapped air in the actual parts themselves. So let's go ahead, let's get this in the water and get started. All right, so we got the timer set for 40 seconds because this is a much bigger piece, so we're gonna start activating it at about 40 seconds instead of the normal one minute.
Alright, everything looks really good. So Ryan's good. Actually looks really good. Uh, looks like we got coverage all the way around. So I think the customer is definitely going to love this. So now we just got to do this three more times. Get all of them dipped. Uh, get them rinsed. Get them clear coated. I think the customer is definitely going to really love it. So wheel came out great. Dip came out good. Um, pretty much almost very very few um, any little imperfections that we see. What little bit that we do see. We can easily touch them up and um, they'll be good to go. So this is definitely a good hit. So let's get this thing uh, in the rinse station, get the others dipped, and um, we'll show you, show you guys the end result. So stay tuned. got all the wheels dipped they came out amazing customers definitely going to love them uh, we've got our center caps here uh, of course we got the XD series center caps uh, brand new so uh, the nice thing about these was is that they are brand new they weren't used like the uh, the wheels were so we got a really nice slick finish on these uh, pretty much on something like this you can really only do one thing and that's mainly just starting like this and then just work it all the way down and just go straight down with it inevitably you're always going to have stretch down in this area down in that area all the way around in here you're probably going to have a small little bubble pop somewhere in one of these areas right here there's no way around that again this is also the reason why we used a darker color base color to make sure that any imperfections or stretch or anything like that it's definitely not as noticeable as what it would be as if we use like a white or something like that so let's go ahead we'll cut the film out we'll dip these we got a nice little uh, dipping apparatus here as you uh, can tell of course a paint mixing cup uh, it was a perfect fit to slide right down over the top of these so now all I got to do is just literally I have full control over everything and so they're not going to fall off or anything like that, so we're ready to go. So let's get the film cut, lay it on the water, show you guys how these look after they dip. So on something like this, just like I was saying, we're just gonna take this, start right in the middle, and just slowly just roll it inward like that and then go straight down with it. So let's get some gloves on and get started. So we've got all of these all finished up. They came out amazing. Customers definitely going to love them. I think they came out really good. So we'll kind of show you guys a few things of what we did and how we came about getting this whole look. So uh, we'll turn this wheel up here and let you take a look at this. So of course we have pretty much the digital all the way around here. Inevitably, because of the lip, you're going to have a little bit of stretch in there no matter what. All the way around, um, there's no way around that. But um, the dip came out really well because we have these areas right in here and then it can escape out through here and all of these areas here and it's not an exact 90 degree angle. Uh, the film actually wrapped in really well 
coming all the way into here and then going out and then all the way around like that. So um, I think the customer is definitely going to love it. Uh, we're, we've got um, the center caps as well that we've done. And so what we've done on these is, is that we've taken and we have of course dipped the whole outside and then we have blacked in all of this right here. So then that way, whenever these set in here like this, they give a very nice detailed look. Everything looks really good, really uniform. I think the customer is definitely going to love it. And of course, um, with this right here, we went ahead and we blacked in all of this backside back in here. So you can kind of see that we blacked all that in. Now again, because these were used rims, they did have a little bit of uh, surface imperfections in here, but uh, we were able to get a lot of it out and uh, they came out looking really good. Uh, really nice flat black. Um, again, it's not really a big deal because it is the backside of the rim, but it does give a very nice and professional look to the overall rim itself. And it'll also make it to where it's a lot easier to clean up and everything like that and there's going to be less noticeable brake dust and all of that whenever you're uh, whenever you have these installed on the vehicle and you're driving with them and all of that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know we always do if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related and also let me know your thoughts on the wheel do you like it do you not uh, would you change anything if you did have a wheel like this uh, let me know your uh, thoughts on that also, if you have any um, anything on ideas on other videos, definitely let us know. We'd love to have your input on that. Um, also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks for anything hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. Have a good day.